Oops, sorry about that. Sheesh, that hurt, you know. You know. I was born impatient. I talk so fast that sometimes weird things come out of my mouth, you know? I've been trying to stop, but when I get excited, I just say whatever I'm thinking. I hope you came out okay, without any weird verbal quirks like me. Then? Minato didn't say anything to you? <laughs> Shame on him. That's right. I am your... Uh, I've... wanted to meet you for so long, you know? <sighs> you know, huh? child. your father, Minato? Dad? Dad once appeared and stopped the Ninetales during one of his rampages. I was really surprised when I saw him, too. Hmm. Speaking of which, why did you... Minato included my chakra in the ceiling jutsu, so I'd appear when you tried to control the Ninetales. So that I could lend you a hand. Right. What is it? Is there something on my face? No, no, it's just... I... I was thinking about how lucky I am to have such a beautiful mom. Oh, <laughs> well, thank you. You have your father's hair, but I'm sorry you got stuck with my face, Naruto. Why? I got my good looks from you, right? I even wish I'd gotten your straight red hair. It's totally awesome! <laughs> that makes you the second man who has complimented my red hair. Yeah? So who's the first? Who do you think? Your father, of course. Oh, right! What is it? Hey, hey, there's something I've always wanted to ask you. How did you and Dad fall in love? It's a bit embarrassing, you know? Hey, you said you know! You're getting excited again! You say I'm getting flustered, not excited, you know? You said it again! <laughs> <sighs> when we first met, your father Minato and I were both still little kids. I had just moved from another village and entered the academy as a new transfer student. At the time, I was placed in the same class as Minato. My first impression of him was that he seemed rather... girly and undependable. He said he wanted to become a Hokage, respected by everyone in the village, but it just sounded like a joke to me. What? But Dad seemed so powerful! I know, but I was still young and didn't know anything back then, so I looked down on Minato. Until a certain incident happened. An incident? I used to really hate my red hair, but after that incident, I started to like it. What happened? I have a slightly special chakra, and I was kidnapped by the Hidden Cloud Village because of it. You were... kidnapped? They suddenly captured me and took me away to the Hidden Cloud Village. 
and I wasn't able to put up much of a fight. But I knew I had to do something in order to leave behind a trail while I was being led away. I snipped off and dropped strands of my hair, carefully, so the enemy wouldn't notice. The Hidden Leaf Village immediately put together search parties, but they had a hard time finding me. We were almost to the border, and I thought that I was done for. But then... Was that one? Yep. Minato was the one who rushed to my side and rescued me. He was the only one to notice the strands of my red hair. He told me it was because my hair is so pretty. That day, I knew Minato really would be a great ninja. I realized he could make all my dreams come true, and that he could change me. The red hair that I had always hated had brought me the man of my dreams. My hair became my red thread of destiny. After that, I grew to like my hair, and more importantly, fell in love with Minato. There are certain words I only bestow on the men who compliment my hair. Will you accept them? Huh? Naruto? I... love you. I love you. Wow. I feel so calm. And... So happy!
Only watch his movements. You'll spot an opening. I'll stop him. Here I come! 